scramble and get it back in. <laughs> what? Some African. <laughs> no, no, just slip on out. That's not what you meant. So nasty. What are you talking about? I'm talking Stop about the being cord. Nasty. I'm talking about the headphones cord. Sure. Sure you are. Why is it all lopsided? It's not very gangster. It the gangster lean. What Hold up. I tip my 42 on the knee. <laughs> Take a sip and I. <laughs> something, something. I. What? <laughs> Isn't that gangster lean? Don't you tip your 40 to somebody's knee? You just tip the 40? Shouldn't you like give the give it a little dollop? That isn't savoring. Uh, that isn't savoring. You and better, I don't, see, I don't you better really that. You douse that 40. Please don't just tip a 40 to my memory, okay? Please get please <laughs> oh, pour God. a I want you to pour a whole 40 out. I want you to know no, first of all, 40. Get some we'll knob just creek. Die together like get, um like get some <laughs> Wolford Reserve. We're gonna do it right. <laughs> Thank and you. pour it in my mouth. <laughs> what is this wasting it on the ground? This libation for the You're an organic substance. I don't know why we exact, libate to the correct. ground. We should correct. libate right in the Correct. This is correct. Right in the mouth. Like put it in, in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> OnlyFans is coming. <laughs> OnlyFans.com. All right. Oh, we didn't start. We're not doing anything yet. Uh, uh. <laughs> we just, we just cheering. We just cheering. Okay, are we? Are we ready? <laughs> sure. Even that was savoring. Come on, everything. I feel everything like we're else. always savoring. I feel like so, we've really mastered yeah, that. We we've, don't savor we've figured out how In fact, to... wait for us. Be like, we're gonna be late because I'm savory. <laughs> that's the reason okay. we're late. From here on out, that's if we it. ever show up late, that's it. We were what savoring. Were I was savoring. You're okay, savoring. I'm sorry that you rushed through that process. I don't. So oh, okay. Stay away from me to get there. I am Mariah Angela Carey. And I am Dolly Rebecca Parton. <laughs> why, why the boobs were part of that? <laughs> oh, that's apropos. Because that's, that's part of listen, it. Listen, listen, that's, that's part of it. Both of our ladies are serving up some Taz. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the Joy RX. Where we prescribe joy as a therapeutic tool. Why are we these ladies today? Why? 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 <laughs> why? You might be asking. Because <laughs> we are entering into a new season and we, and in our season of savoring and appreciation, we are going to rep for the things we appreciate. Absolutely. If you don't mess with Mariah Carey, you don't mess with me. Listen, <laughs> you know what? One, the only time, I, I swear to God, I'm not, I'm really not exaggerating and making this up here. The only time she has snapped at me ever, like to the point that it was out of character. Me? It didn't have to do with food? <laughs> I swear to God. This was, but this had to have been like 25 years ago. Good times. And I, when we were five years old, right, oh my God. Right. We were so little. And <laughs> I said to you, I didn't, I wasn't saying it. I wasn't doubting Mariah Carey's greatness. I mean, because who could ever do that? I was really just genuinely asking, like, why do you why do you love her so much? And I think what you heard is. Why do you love her so much? Uh, <laughs> sorry. I responded The poorly. one and only time she <laughs> said, you're going to stop asking me that question. And I'm just, oh, you in it I all did. the way live. And I was like, 
Note to self, never mm-hmm. ask mm-hmm. that question. <laughs> Me and Mariah go back like babies and pacifiers. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at it. Oh, Kamika no liar. Yes, so so though so she appreciates. <laughs> honey. Yeah, no, I really, I really love Mariah. I'm like Mariah Carey, like her, right, and her music. And people be like, "What's your favorite song?" I'll be like, "Get out of here!" I'll, I mean, I just there's so much. I'm talking about since 1990, mm-hmm. when Vision of course I was love. born. When of course I was born, <sighs> and then <laughs> literally from that point on, I am I am just her fan, her stan. I remember I where I was when I first her. heard "Vision of Love." I was at camp in the Catskill Mountains. <gasps> I want you to know that I heard I. I heard that first that doom, and I was like, "What is this you they're about to play the on the?" Did a swarthy dance instructor <laughs> come <laughs> and tell your father <laughs> that nobody puts you in a corner? <laughs> no, I was going. Did that happen? I was going to. I mean, we've talked about my my love for Jewish people. Oh. I am an honorary Jew. I because you went to the Catskills. I attended yes, camp. Were. I was the one black girl. You with were too. They probably just, thought you were still uh, Jewish. Listen, I can still Hava Nagila Hava. I can go in because I I went through all of those experiences. Good but times. yes, in 1990, I was at camp in the Catskill <laughs> Mountains, and I heard Vision of Love, and I was like, What is this? My word, is this? Is she new? Oh, I, honey, I don't understand it's people. When Akiba wrote the other day that she would never play never Vision of Love again, I was like, "What? Yeah. Monthly, easily? What? I know, I don't understand it, but it you want to talk about a song where you talk about vintage good Mariah." That octave was showing. Baby. There were notes you couldn't hit on this end, and there were notes you couldn't in, <laughs> hit on that end. She, Run she off gave on it. it. Come she on. She said, oh, this is the first song I'm releasing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to give you, you all You're going to understand yeah. why I'm here. Y'all think I don't have any soul. Let me just let yes. you know. So oh, she God. loves she loves Dolly. I'm, no. <gasps> see? You see this? Mariah. Every, everyone. She loves Mariah. I Mariah. love Dolly. Now, look. Don't don't play with it. I don't want anyone asking me any questions. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to don't play with it. I love Auntie Dolly because she is at her core one of the most generous and lovely human beings. The reason you have a vaccine right now, I'm not kidding. <laughs> the reason that you have any of the vaccines, even though she paid for Moderna, all of the other ones sped up. And, and started to get their stuff together because they saw, oh, uh-huh. Moderna has been fully funded. By who? Listen. Dolly Rebecca We gonna miss her. She really, and she was not afraid to counter the isms that no. were popular at the time. Uh-huh. And, she's, and she's country folk, let's she be is honest. Con- look, she is. The, the parts where she's from, that's a, yes. that's a bold move. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To be like, but she stands in the gap for the LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. She's Mm going to ride with black people. She's just Dolly is riding them hills. Listen, (laughs) right? Are we afraid to go? And she's always (laughs) lovely. And she also, you know, she even it's very it's admirable the way that she stands so staunchly for things. But she also doesn't like to ruffle feathers. So, like, if you've ever so, Kind, yeah, yeah. She she um she was once on uh, one of those shows, the Oscars, something, and she had to she had to present with Jane Fonda, another auntie of mine, who is uh, I mean, she's a firecracker, and she says all kinds and of wild pure, stuff. That's a pure actress, yeah, right? There. <laughs> out of her mouth. Yeah. And she so she took the actress. opportunity while they were presenting this award to say something wild. And Dolly was standing there like, uh oh, <laughs> I don't want to be part of this. She she doesn't. Mm-mm. She just really wants to love everybody. She wants everybody to just have a space. So that's why. Shout love out, today. Dolly. And and we when we hear these women's music, right? It's not in the background. It's not you want to hear some howling. Are we going to savor a thing? Don't listen. We turning it all the way up? All the way turned up. Mm-hmm. Don't be in the car. It comes on and you just are talking through it. I'm going to be oh, like, oh my God. A whole show. Oh my God. Are you having an emergency? Oh, I cannot stand, what, I what, can't what, stand what, for anybody to talk. Are you to. This is my moment. During 
Mariah Carey is on. Shh, shh, everybody. <laughs> I don't. I don't. The only DVDs I still have. You know what I'm saying? Are, wow. Are Mariah Carey DVDs? I don't want to let the DVDs themselves. I don't have anywhere to play them, but I don't want to let them go. You know what we should do? We should have. We should have like a Mariah Carey party. And and we watch her movies. I don't care. Let's just at least only listen to her. That's your birthday party this year. Absolutely. That's what we're doing. People can wear pink and rainbow. Yep. We're gonna do it. Butterflies all over. Little lambs. <laughs> Little lambs. <laughs> we're That's doing what her it. Fans are called. Some of you are like, I know that because <laughs> I'm a lamb. <laughs> Dolly doesn't have what are Dolly's folks called? I'm I'm gonna have to figure mm-hmm. that out. The Ariole. We're the We're the nine <laughs> to fivers. <laughs> Not Ariole? I hate you. Anyway. <laughs> we um we are actually we're recovering, y'all, because last night we went good and did times. some research mm-hmm. for this. These are the good times. Mm-hmm. We leave your hands <laughs> behind. <laughs> we we didn't want to just bust up into tacos. No, you know what I'm saying. No. On 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 May, on May 5th, we wanted to, you know. We we decided. Pre-taco. Listen, if we're going into a season of savoring and appreciating, <laughs> let's go out for a night of yes debauchery, but also savoring I mean, and. We just- Appreciating tacos, but I mean, we started in savoring and, and appreciation. <laughs> we shout out to Amelica Kumba. Yes, she is Mama um, Amelica. Yes, yeah, somebody we've danced with, you know, before, and she she um, is a founding uh, member of Kiwai Amata. If you don't know that fantastic um, uh, women's African dance and drum company, and she has been teaching at her own, our and her alma mater. Uh, Spelling College for 25 years. She and another sister initiated the African dance um, program. And last night was just to honor her. Um, if you see her, you would be like, she ain't doing, been doing nothing for 25 years because she looked like she's 35. She looks the I, same age as her children. Yeah, her children, 36. She looks 36. <laughs> Literally. Mm-hmm. Uh, that must mean, listen, savoring African dance <laughs> obviously keeps you young. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I'm telling you what I know good. She looks well. But yeah, so I mean, so we started there mm-hmm. and just enjoyed, right? We enjoyed even being on campus. We enjoyed being in Sisters Chapel that just has, you know, meaning for us as Spelmanites. And we just kept the evening going of enjoyment. We did. And then we went and we hung out and we listened to our boy Salah, DJ. List- the music last night, I'm sorry. The mashups that were happening, I <laughs> I was like, are you combining this and this? It was, get yeah, it. it was. Get we it. We were. Uh, uh, Listen, when I was giving first it to of all, what was the first song? The Stevie Wonder song. Love, light, and flight. You ain't even heard that in a long time. Come Take on. Take me back to paradise. You haven't heard that in a decade. Hit we, me when I'm missing. missing. Yeah. yeah. And he mixed it in. I mean, I was just, it was just, it was masterful. There were like a couple of gospel songs in there. <laughs> just mixed up with like, you know. Head on over to the Listen. Instagram and you can see uh, Joy John Brock going in on on the house version of You Brought the Sunshine. You brought the sunshine. <laughs> the lifeline. When we do this, y'all, this is, you know, we always apologize. We're going to stop. You know why? <laughs> This is a savory. <laughs> That's a savory. Last night we're literally taco in mouth, <laughs> juice singing the just songs, drizzling down our, our and just mouth wide open, cabbage slaw. Just listen, listen, tossing back the beverages. It was good time. It was it was savoring and appreciation. And that's just what we do. But I think that's what you can't, you know, we, we don't want people to think you have to like climb to the top of a mountain in Nepal. To savor or something, <laughs> even though that's a great experience, I recommend it. <laughs> but I mean, you can you can savor something small that's happening right there. This is a, this is a little restaurant that has tacos and really good cocktails and good music. You know, there's like a lot of those actually in Atlanta. Atlanta is filled really, with little yeah, just absolutely. spots. You know, what I mean, there's for like you a, to have an experience, mm, not just. But you can have food, folks, mm-hmm. fun, and you know, it's not. 
you know, just get on out there. Mm-hmm. Get on out there, but savor it. Don't rush through the thing. Yeah. So let's talk about what savoring and appreciation is. Oh, man. It so is fun. to experience a thing. Enjoy it completely. Relish in it. <laughs> and understand its full worth. You relished in that definition. Listen. That was savoring and appreciation. Listen. The way you said that. It's not right. Because even that shouldn't be rushed. Experience that thing. Enjoy it completely. It's better. It's more than just the recognition of things that bring you joy. Mm-hmm. This is not, I like that. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. How was the food? It was good. Uh, uh, <laughs> you haven't savored it. Mm-mm. That's mm-hmm. what we're talking about. It's not just the recognition. It is also the awareness of how you celebrate a thing. I recognize I like it. And how do I how do I just I internally yes. really process how much value it has mm-hmm. to me? Mm-hmm. I want to be relished. We're gonna do a whole episode. Mm-hmm. That's good. What because I decided like that somebody. I said that earlier today. I said, you know what? I don't want I want someone to bask. In my glory. In my glory. I really do. That's mm-hmm. not exaggerating. And I think people are like, mm-hmm. oh, my God. People just want people to be sweating. And that's the, not. No. And, and similarly. I, and I, and want, I to want to be to with w- the person. I, I want to be with the person that I understand. Please his trigger full my basking. I <laughs> trigger my basking. I want to wake up in relishment. I, I want to relish. Listen, I'm not, and I think this is a this is a tricky. I said that too. I said, you know what? I'm gonna be a problem this season. I'm gonna be a problem during savoring and appreciation because, like, this thing is really getting me. And I really, you know, like we said, everything that we do, you know, I think, you know, kind of there's a zeitgeist, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It sets a tone, and then it shows itself in our lives and the lives of our Joy Johns and anybody who's you know mm-hmm. near us at all. That here's this mm-hmm. message. And I think this message of you better still. I'm glad it's coming at the start of summer, uh, baby. Ooh, this we might just stay. Summer we might just stay moi. here. We, we might just stay Y'all here. Y'all still on savory and appreciation? We ain't never sure leaving. Oh, lamb. Yeah, we might just Mm-mm. do the other principles while we still just keep finding things we can savor and Are appreciate. You, what? But that it requires slowing down. It does. You got to slow down. And, and this is this is really good. there's there's a word behind this, y'all. Like I know that, you know, of course, you can binge these episodes, you can do whatever you want on your own time, you can revisit, that's fine. But I do think there's something to be said for going through the season as we're going through it. You know, like I saw Joy John Brandon today. She she posted a beautiful picture of the sunset. I was like, see that awe and wonderment. I as, see because you doing it. As, as you're experiencing it, yeah. you know, as you're hearing about it, <laughs> now you're making this connection right. with it. I'm yeah. telling you, hurry up and get in this season of savoring and appreciation. Because baby. Because we going in. We going in. We are going in. What are some of the ways? And, and people may be like, okay, I kind of understand what you're saying, right? To fully understand. I'm, I mean, appreciating stuff, it. right? Mm-hmm. There are some ways that that you can tell that you or someone else is fully Mm -hmm. basking in a thing, relishing Mm -hmm. in a thing, enjoying it completely. Mm -hmm. It's called capitalizing the moment. Right. So let's let's think about some what you have done. We're going to call them out. You're going to be sitting there laughing because you're like, I did that this morning. That's that's real good. Okay. You eat a morsel of something. I'm already in. <laughs> so ethereal. You are actually sad to <laughs> see <laughs> it. Go- I did this last night. Listen, did I not? You hold I on st- to that last little bit I of I started taco, like, nibbling at it because I was like, no. I'm, I'm so not. upset. 
I don't care about fullness. Nah. <laughs> I don't care. Last night I said that too. I said, I'm so mad that I didn't get like 15 tacos. Why did I get as many? Just I need they more. They were so amazing. They were so good. When you put that last bite in. And you want to cry. You a little bit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, yes. you kind of need somebody to talk you out off the well, ledge. Yeah. It's <laughs> because it was so good. <laughs> It's it's like Kamala in that way. Like, <laughs> you, you 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 corner it on your plate. Like you, in fact, when you are eating the several things on your plate, that thing that's just too good, you go ahead and corner that off. So that'd be the last bite you have. I didn't show them my cup of ambition. Let me make sure that they see it. A All cup right. of ambition, get it? <laughs> Solid. The areola will get it. I think I like that for the group. Another way. Big bras? <laughs> Real big bras. <laughs> the big bras. <laughs> the big, the big bras. <laughs> the, the over shoulder boulder holders. Ooh, ooh. I know. Look at me. Safety first. All right. <clears throat> okay. Next one. Give it to me. You've seen this. No. We're ladies. We don't do it as much, right? This is for the men folk. <laughs> okay. And ladies who do this. <laughs> you are so impressed by your boy. That you do the high knees run in place and hold your hand out for that. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait, it's when they multiple times clap it. It's when they be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> does it, man, does it hurt? We need to ask. That's our next like poll question. <laughs> does it hurt when y'all do that? I, the, I love to I see love men do this. I love it. I love it. When they just get excited and then them knees go, you literally <laughs> start high knee high. right then. Because uh -huh. your homeboy has done something so amazing. You are safe. You are in the moment with him. He showed up in that suit. Baby, you appreciate that thing. He just he just got an award. And you whatever are it just is, in. you're so excited. You're so in. And you you just you just the hype the hype hand clap that thing gets me. You Every you are time. savoring. Okay? And appreciate Multiple, it. It sounds so hard though. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Every I second am of in it. love with it. Another one. We do this. We do this all the time. Soberly telling <laughs> someone <laughs> that they are the most Fill in the blank in the world. Extra points. Listen, because I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this right here. This if finger you point. Get the, 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 the finger point. We we do this often. We be like, listen. Because I, I, we really want people to know. <laughs> you tell somebody. When you, you look at like, somebody. Wait a minute. No, no, no. And, and you make them stop. I'm not, I'm not joking with you. I, I didn't say nice dress. I didn't say cute song. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I needed but you <laughs> to know. You got to get that. <laughs> you, you, in fact, it's mo you got to stay moving. Mm -hmm. It's a bounce. <laughs> I want you to know that was some singing. Like you, mm -hmm. when you uh -huh. really want to uh -huh. just bring that. And point sometimes home. before you even say words, it's just the point. Just Did you like it? Hold on. Oh, did I what? You're uh -huh. almost offended by by that like kind of asked. low yeah, level, yeah, yeah, yeah. low Someone, level compliment. Oh, did you did you enjoy it? I was oh, so worried. Was it fun? As it, you get real serious. Was it fun? But can can you imagine somebody doing that to you? Can you imagine the difference between being like, uh, I had fun making love last night, and then being <laughs> and being like, and then somebody being like, my soul left my what body. What you did. <laughs> I'm not here right now. I'm gone. Last night. This is this is like a representation. You know who did you know who did that? Tell Jill me. Scott wrote a whole song like that. She writes a, yes, you a pulled of some tricks out your sleeve. <laughs> yes, a couple like last that. Last night. Yes. Savor it. That's you want that moment to last? You got to savor that thing. The stank face. 
Now, everybody doesn't know like how the stank face works. Mm -mm. Remember when Rihanna was at that um, yes. that show? I know exactly and what you're talking about. the people about. in the comments, I was like, oh, no. come on, raisins in the potato <laughs> well, she was like, well, fuck you, little bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me if you have children and the, It was the, the way she was like. <laughs> she was serious what? about it. She was she telling was the girl like, she was gorgeous. <laughs> And people were like, she's probably jealous because she's not. I was like, oh, my God, Rihanna. you're so out of touch. You're so out of touch with how this woman is celebrating people. I was like, oh, you're not in. Come on, get aligned with the community. She was appreciating. She was. <laughs> that, that, I, that was her walk. saying. And this, I know, I know people are on uh, are on the podcast and are wondering kind of what we're doing. We are making this thing face. But if you are watching <laughs> this on YouTube. Mm-hmm. When you just get to look, you eat something and be like, you, you look like something has just bitten you. Mm -hmm. It did. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. delightfulness of what you just tasted. Mm -hmm. Right? Somebody is dancing so amazingly that you're like, mm -mm. when you start. If you look at somebody with that stank face, it's, uh, you're almost angry how uh -huh. how wonderful uh -huh. it is. I'm almost mad. What? Mm -hmm. You have this much talent, mm -hmm. beauty, awesomeness. I, let me relish in it. Mm -hmm. Not recognize it. Mm -hmm. but that's a dip there's a difference. Not, hmm, that's a lot of talent and beauty. Right. Mm -mm, that's... <laughs> You haven't fully experienced. I'm almost that thing. in pain yeah. because of it. Because it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Yes. Okay. What else? Another thing, acting out an entire song as if you are on stage performing it. There are songs are there I can't who listen don't do to. This? I can't listen to certain songs while I'm cleaning because you won't get anything done. I can't listen to certain songs on the treadmill or I'm going to fall off. <laughs> I want you to know a whole to show it. is happening. I can see the people in the okay. audience. Absolutely. What? I I have on a, a shimmery outfit. Mm -hmm. I've kicked off my shoes like Patty. Mm -hmm. I am going through all of the theatrics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when you really, when that song gets good, I tried this little Afro Beats mix to to clean to this weekend. I got so little done. Yeah, but why would you do that? I thought I, I thought it'd be motivating. Mm -hmm. Baby songs was coming on, and I was just giving it to you. I am just in front. I'm just holding a dust rag. Uh -huh. Just uh -huh. mm -mm, like you're in a music video. Yes. Yep. That's yes, what you should do. Yes, I am do. performing. I've taken showers. That you know, I should have been in and out. I was in there forty minutes. <laughs> Easily going in. Mm -hmm. I was savoring though. Okay. Yeah, I was appreciating that song. Right? Now this one, we do this. <laughs> we do this all the time. Well, somebody sing it, and you just yell out, Saint! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you, you, you better sing! <laughs> you can't even get it out. You, what? <laughs> you better... I, I. <laughs> <laughs> or you say their name. Yes, Tanya! Well, <laughs> And it has to be high like that. It can't be like, good job, Tanya. Not, not what That's we're talking thing. about. That's a thing. It's, yes, Tanya! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better say! You better! Don't help! <laughs> you just scream it out. That's a Even thing. if it's really quiet somewhere, you ever be like, I'm, I'm mad that it's quiet because <laughs> I my savoring does not allow myself yeah. to be calm and silent in the uh -huh. midst of this kind of performance. That happened this year at the spell. You know how Spellman does, and you're not supposed to clap in between. Some of y'all uncultured folks don't know that. Mm -hmm. But you're not supposed to clap in between. You're supposed to, they're supposed to between finish what? just between the songs. Oh. But it's gotten so good that people can't, can't contain themselves. They start standing up. They start <laughs> yelling at the children. Correct, because we we can't we can't. Yeah. It's I'm just, starting it's early. So as soon as you hit some good notes in the beginning, I'll be like, all right now. <laughs> hey, you do that. <laughs> sing, this, sing no, it. this is my one. My, mm. Okay, <laughs> sing it. Yeah, that head start going. Like that head start going. Mm -hmm. You've got to do it. This is a good one. Catching eyes with someone and not breaking away immediately. First of all. 
if she and I catch eyes with each other, that's it. It's, it's over. over. The sc- we're screaming, laughing. Uh, we've I not, don't we've care not said a word. Where we are. But, uh, I really want you to know. If you had a funeral, yep. I promise you. There's no, there's no you. circumstance. We solemn have to enough. separate. There's no circumstance solemn enough, and it won't matter because we'll still be. And, and that's gonna make it funnier if we're not next to each other and from across the room. We just lay there and be like, <laughs> <laughs> we start looking around. That means and then that we that find thing each was other. Amazing. Not amazing, <laughs> whatever it is. But what it is, we are basking in whatever it mm-hmm. is, mm-hmm. the awesomeness of it, either direction. We are basking in it. That when you just can you, I even think romantically, can you imagine like catching out, you know, you're looking at someone and not breaking away? They catch you looking at them and you just stay when you, there. When you first start liking someone and you, and don't, you catch you their don't eye and, and you he just stay holds there. your gaze. Ooh, that's a nice feeling. And then you just kind of just, then you break away on some like. <laughs> <laughs> that's him savoring you. <laughs> You're savoring each other. <laughs> okay, you do this one. <laughs> oh that's oh my God! Safer. You do that. You do that all the time. Gosh. Clapping like a child and giving a high pitched yay all the time. <laughs> I do squeal. it. She I do that. it all the time when my students are doing something uh-huh. fantastic. Mm-hmm. When someone is, you know, they got something that they really want. I've done it alone. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I've done it. People weren't uh-huh. there. I'm reading on Facebook that you got, you know, this yep. Fulbright, you know what I'm saying? I'm going, <laughs> people uh-huh. like, what are you looking uh-huh. at? I'm over here savoring the fact that my friend mm-hmm. got, got this fellowship. That's entire appreciation. Mm-hmm. Now, see, some people are going to say that this is, I don't know, ratchet, that it's rude, it's inappropriate. Yeah. If you do this, it is because you already mm-hmm. came knowing mm-hmm. That you were going to savor this, this is thing. an homage. Listen, when you bring your own foil or Tupperware to a gathering where you know somebody in particular will be cooking. When you find out ahead of time mm-hmm. who was making the macaroni and cheese and who was making the greens. And what? you... Literally, and you go looking you for the lid that your, matches mm-hmm. your Tupperware because you got and to, you walk in the door with it in your hand before you, you make have, a plate for yourself. You've you put it in your, <laughs> you pre you pre <laughs> you are preparing to. I can't pre-game. let it go. Mm-hmm. I know that it's so good that just this meal. I I must a day or two later. I must have more of it. I'll be so sad if you when you don't. Don't you sad? <laughs> then you talk about it. That food was good, wasn't it? Yesterday? Mm-hmm. And you're that depressed. was good. Dang, I should have made a plate. I, I should have made, made a plate. Don't ever, don't plate. ever be in the position where you don't think I should have. Don't do it. Make you a plate. Make the plate. Come, Pre-savored. come with your materials ready. Listen, it's an homage. Anybody mm-hmm. mad at that? Nobody's mad about that. Do you know how good that makes somebody feel to be like, I brought this because like, I heard you were making the greens and I brought a container because mm-hmm. once is not enough. Mm-hmm. I know I don't have to taste them yet. Mm-hmm. I already believe in their stellar quality. Mm-hmm. And I'm prepped to savor them beyond today. Come on. I once made um, my macaroni and blue <laughs> cheese. It's amazing. And I had a friend, he said, listen, I'm going to go ahead and take the container that I baked it in. First of all, it was empty. He said, "There's there are so many juices in here mm-hmm. that I feel like it, sh- it, it shouldn't be wasted. He said, I'm going to bring you your pot back to mm-hmm. you. <laughs> I said, yes, sir. It was that good. <laughs> yeah. okay. That is to savor a thing. These things sound trite, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. It's it's part of the practice. And you, know I mean? you should get into the practice of it. If you're not in the house... <laughs> What do you do when you go to the restaurant? Listen, I have def- me and you have done this. All the time. We lean in like this. We have the whole No, moment. first of all, we drop our head. Oh, God. When the waiter comes and says, everything all right here? We do the two-finger point to the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> you got to move back and forth. You got to do the two-finger point to the waiter. It is better than good. 
can you send the chef out, out here? If you can't, I want you to tell that chef mm -hmm. that he or she, she showed up and showed all the way out. And then the chef comes out all humble. Mm -hmm. and Coming we, all out, wiping the hands. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, did, did you enjoy your meal? And then we go all the way. <laughs> we stand up. I stop. We bow to them. Because that is how you appreciate someone. That was good. Nobody wants to hear that. You don't want to hear that. It's not, that's not how the You know the effort works. you put into something. You mm -hmm. want somebody to savor and appreciate what you've produced at the level at which you produced Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Go in. Absolutely. You want this? Nobody I, wants listen, that. Listen, listen, and I do believe some of these things are cultural, um, and we live we live in a in a um, uh, heterogeneous society. So if your culture says that you need to not savor a thing, I want you to abandon those rituals and spend some time with cultures of people who go in. Yes. So you can enjoy yourself. I, <laughs> this is gonna be really ignorant. I thought that while watching Queen Elizabeth's funeral, I was like, I know that ain't like no funeral I've been to. <laughs> You know what? And and, and we're gonna talk about it. I said that would you did she get celebrated? I it, guess not. Listen, savor and appreciate my life. When I go out second line, that I, thing I all night. I want night. African dance all That's through what there. I want. I want bourbon sir. Don't wear no black. I want cackling, laughing, I, fine, crying. Listen. That's fine. But I want I want big emotions. Cause that doesn't this don't celebrate me. <laughs> And I mean, for some people, they may feel like it's it's showing reverence for something. Don't uh -huh. do that for me. Savor me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You've never liked. Remember when you were a child? You everybody knows how you celebrate a child, right? If you don't celebrate big on a child, they think you're angry. They didn't uh -huh. do a good job. You haven't changed that much. Uh, that's that's true. You, you haven't changed you know that how much. Annoying My children are, are how they're like, mommy, look at me, old. look at me, mommy, uh -huh. mommy, look at me. It's because. At the end, mommy says, ooh. Right. Do it All big. That, yes. Do it big. And not just for show, not just to show them something. Do it big because you took time to enjoy that thing. Your children mm -hmm. are only small for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. You better save for those years. Mm -hmm. Save for those little Valentines with a little tissue paper on it. You're only going to get for about four or five of them. I used to come with a bullhorn <laughs> to massage ice skating competition. She'd be like, mommy, I'm so mm -hmm. embarrassed. I these people don't know who my really. child is. She was embarrassed, but also... <laughs> she kept inviting me back. Yep. <laughs> like that faux embarrassment. Like when, when, when her friends, who's, who I'm sure there were some whose parents didn't come at all. And they were like, you, were, you know, I mean, look at your mama. The Listen, loudest one in here. Savor these Absolutely. times with people. Savor that appreciation. Really, really, really show it, and and actually do it, not just as showing it. Right. Actually, be in a place. Right. You know, I'm glad we did this after awe and wonderment uh -huh. because, like, the awe is first. Like, let me uh -huh. just. I'm just gonna allow myself to be amazed mm -hmm. by it. Now I'm gonna sit in it. Yes. I'm gonna just revel in it. Yeah. I'm gonna lay up in this thing. Not just not just be amazed by it, but I'm about to just really dive deep. I'm gonna taste yeah. it. I'm going in. I'm going to go in. Yes. So here, here's <laughs> what you you have to think about, y'all. We live in a fast-paced world. Yep. And um, we make it hard to slow down yeah. and truly savor a thing. Yeah. Um, you know, think about, uh, you know, we grew up a little differently, but now the world that we live in, whatever you want is just at, at the touch of your fingertips. So everybody just is moving like that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I think it even desensitizes the prize. Absolutely. Because it's it's happening so quickly. You're not even like, you know what I mean? Like part of it was the anticipation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like waiting for food to be done. You're right. like, oh, thank right. goodness. You know what I mean? Right. You know, you think about like back in the day when we would have to go buy new music, you'd have to go stand in the line at Tower Records at midnight on a Tuesday. I mean... I, to wait for it to drop. And and when you wanted to hear a song, you had to go and get it from somewhere. Like now you could just be like, what song is that? Boop. And you could be hearing it in seconds. You could shazam it. Right? Yeah. That's, that's not what used to happen. Right. And so, so then when you got it, you so savored that. You savored right. that thing. <laughs> right. So there, there's this quote that I like. Intentionally placing 
our attention on positive events and prolonging the positive feelings that arise mm -hmm. can buffer against negative health outcomes and enable well-being. This is so meaningful and so important, mm -hmm. y'all, because it keeps you in a state of peace right. and contentment. So when something is thrown at you mm -hmm. that can knock you out of that, savoring something can yeah. just take you right back. You're, it fortifies you. Mm -hmm. That's what that buffering is that she said. You know what I mean? It is that protection that you have. It's your sunscreen. You know what yeah. I mean? When things happen, because they will. You know what I mean? We 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 are always going to be faced with something, right? Mm -hmm. And when adversity comes your way, there's this way that you've been prepped um, by the just really focusing on the things that bring you joy, and then you can kind of go to them, mm -hmm. right? We joke about tacos, but I mean we find tacos to be therapeutic, and I needed it yesterday. To be honest with she, you, she really needed. She I needed, a needed whole it yesterday. Yes. It was a rough yeah. one yesterday, <laughs> right? And when, you know, by the time you see this, there'll be you know the time will be different. But there was a you know those of us in Atlanta, you know, a, 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 a tragedy was taking place and trying to locate people and make sure that they were okay, and then doing the kind of work that I do and finding out who it was and knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like that the history of, of that this man did not get the proper mental health care. But just I was just on one, right? I knew where to get the medicine though. It was in the savoring. Mm -hmm. I knew to 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 choose to spend time with a person who savors. And I knew to pick a, an activity that I could just be like, you know what? I can just let me just go in. And she did on this. Several I times she was like, I don't want you to judge tacos. me for going back and getting another talk. I was like, what? judge. I wanted to eat Affirming. tacos off of other people's plate. <laughs> they, they were so good. You have just, uh, but you, are you finna eat, finish your taco? <laughs> you gonna eat your taco? <laughs> you want that little piece of cilantro? <laughs> just, Can I just? You gonna leave that right there? Is that this one? <laughs> I'll finish your drink too. Thanks. I'll wash up the rest of it. Wash down the rest of your taco. All right. So there's there's a difference between um, you know there's there's savoring right um, there's coping. Okay. Um, and I think that coping is kind of, I'm not knocking coping because coping gets us by, right? But savoring takes us beyond getting by. Correct. Right. Just coping. Um, again, that's great. That is, I'm, mm -hmm. I am making it. I am, you know, putting up a little bit of a, a wall to kind of thwart the, the um, adverse things that are coming my way. Savoring, though. Savoring, though, make sure you have joy in the midst of the struggle. Remember, we want joy. Yeah. We don't want just, you know, complacency. Mm -hmm. We want real joy. We've been living with the complacency. Yeah, we've had that. Mm -hmm. Coping is, yeah, doing just enough and, you know, I'm getting through. We're here because of coping. Yeah. What's the joy going to come from, though? Right? Thriving versus surviving. I am no longer in invested in thriving. I mean, in, in, in surviving. surviving. Mm-mm. When I tell my clients that too, you know, I, I work with veterans and I work people who are just like, I am literally surviving. Now, listen, I like your surviving. We want it. We want your, your surviving. Because I do want you here. Do you think that's what you were placed on earth to do? Come on. Do you really think that your life was created here to we just go. survive? Just bare minimum existence? I don't think Can't so. Be. I don't think so. Can't be. You were built to thrive. And if that's not what's happening, let's get with it. Let's figure out how to get some thriving back into your existence. Surviving. Mm -hmm. People love it. I'm in survival mode. Hey, what's up with you? Just making it. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. Mm, okay. Keeping my head above water. <laughs> Just my Keeping head. Keeping my head above water. Just my face. <laughs> I want my whole body to come out of the water. Just, like that. Just this. I'm really almost drowning. I'm two inches from drowning. I could almost drown right. by like one little, just enough. Right. That's what I'm doing. That is not thriving. And savoring is something really quick that you can do yep. by yourself. You don't need anything. Listen, I regularly the walk the streets. I go through the through Publix. I see a bad sister, sis, turn around. I ain't got to know her. 
I'm going to find joy in this. I'm just, I have joy in the fact that you are here mm-hmm. and you are radiant mm-hmm. and you are beautiful. And I'm going to appreciate it for real. You know what I mean? If you, you know, really like pull over one time when you just see the sky and you think to yourself, you show it out, Lord. I yeah. see you show it mm-hmm. out, right? Or you see mm-hmm. those fall colors change. Pull over where you got to be. Right. You ain't even rushing anywhere. Pull right. over and really look at it. Mm-hmm. Really take a minute and just, wow. Yeah. Wow. It resets you. It resets you. It really does enable well-being, like the quote says. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's so, there's so many things out there that threaten our, our mental health. Yep. And we're trying to, you know, kind of give you tools to, to, to really buffer yourself against those. Mm-hmm. So um, the big thing about savoring, the thing that makes it so much deeper than just, oh, that's nice, mm-hmm. is that you... It requires action on the part of the person doing the savoring. And it requires the focus on the experiencing of the delight Mm -hmm. itself. It's not just, oh, look at that pretty sunset over there. It's, let me go twirl in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me go leap through the grass. Let me fully soak this in. You you almost have to be in connection and in conversation with yourself. Mm-hmm. How am I about to appreciate mm-hmm. this fully? Mm-hmm. That black men frolicking is an example. Ooh. That's just them savoring and are just appreciating. But what I like about what you just said, too, is focusing on experiencing a delight. Let the delight itself delight you. Let your joy bring you joy. Like... Just really, have you ever just stopped for a second? And I'm happy. Ooh. Folks don't even stop to just recognize that you're actually happy. You're I'm happy. happy right now. Be happy about that. Yeah. Let that be a point of celebration. Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry. <laughs> happy <laughs> I don't worry be happy now <laughs> but you know what I mean like when you focus on um I I I, I make that my my wish you know whenever I like blow out birthday candles and things mm. like that I wish for the happiness mm. not necessarily the thing you know what I mean like it's, I'm not even I'm not the focus is not just on the thing I'm appreciating what 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 joy would feel like so bring it to me and that might mean the removal of something I thought was going to bring me joy or the and I need to spend some more time in some places that I hadn't thought about fine mm-hmm. I want the joy yes <laughs> I it's, want it. It's, ve- it's being very conscious mm-hmm. of it. That's the big piece of savoring that we want you to get in this season. Being conscious of your joy and how you're going yep. to feel it, spread it, experience Protect it. Protect it. Yes. Keep some, yes. you know, keep folk from coming in and, and, and snatching it. Yes. <laughs> so very it good. is intimately related to pleasure but it cannot be fully felt without becoming aware of the pleasure and appreciating the positive emotions that derive from the actual experience. This is, you talked about, you, you, you mentioned something a little earlier, sex, honey. Let me tell you something. (laughs) You can't enjoy sex unless you fully give yourself over to the emotion it leaves you with. Because then you're just, you're just going through the motions. You're just going through the motions. Which, again, that's, you can have pleasure from going through motions. Some. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's why this is kind of beyond, it's beyond mm-hmm. just pleasure. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It is connecting with, with the, the pleasure. experience yeah. and, and being like, and understanding I'm in a good state right now. I am feeling good. I'm experiencing pleasure right now. And how can I stretch this out? Mm -hmm. How can I continue in this feeling? Fully appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It really can't happen without some mindfulness, Mm -hmm. right? There's a meta awareness that Mm -hmm. is required um, to really savor a thing. You have to be able to get your mind focused on the, on the now, right? It is not, 
it, you know, if I'm eating something fantastic, but worrying about a whole bunch of stuff that happened earlier today or thinking about what's going to go on tomorrow, then I'm not, I'm not really savoring it. Mm -hmm. You have to be the mindfulness practices are based around just kind of focusing on what am I doing right now? Yeah. You know, what am I doing in the present? What's happening right in this moment? And just sitting with it. I mean, <laughs> honestly, that's, that's the big piece of it is it's, it's becoming aware. And now let me fully feel this. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So there are three types of savoring. So they're savoring in the past, which is reminiscing. You ever you ever go and and sit at Big Mama's house and all of the family comes around and and y'all mm -hmm. just start telling stories. They're the same stories we've heard over you even and over again. You're standing together. You're finishing yeah. them together, they, and you're still cackling like you like you never heard right. the first time, or it right. still triggers emotion because it was so good. Mm -hmm. And I don't want the feeling to end from it. Like mm -hmm. that's that's the whole. But that's the savory. You know what though? Uh, I but I want y'all to understand. We should be, those are the types of memories we should be creating every day. Mm -hmm. Live your life so that you are creating moments that you will eventually reminisce over. That's it. Really reminisce over you, my God. <laughs> Baby. See how I had to give her the two fingers? <laughs> And the stank face. Come on. Because she was walking you good. Remind me. Yeah. <laughs> you remind me. No, really, I think that's, I think that's good. I think uh, you said something important about um, we don't want it to end. Like that you don't want the food to end. You don't want the joke to end. You don't want, you know what I mean, whatever that is. That reminiscing, um, that that's part of that savoring because you just are like, I have to bring that back to the, mm -hmm. my forefront. We are so good at reminiscing on things that don't make us feel good. Uh -huh. We will ruminate over things that create anxiety. Mm -hmm. Why not go to the happy place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can even, um, if you really got joy, you get to a place where you reminisce on the rough moments and it'll make and you laugh. And that's funny too. Look, there was one homecoming. I had come to visit from New York. This joker locked me out of her house. I t you tell, you know what? Your stories are so. I mean, they are She didn't so lock me out on purpose. The door was locked. I couldn't get in. I had to sleep in my car. I still think it's one of the funniest stories of all time. Your I slept in my car that, that night. Yeah. Did it happen? Some people, I, I didn't even, I, was I in there by myself? I don't think you I were. Liked it. You were. You were in I there. I think somebody was in there. You was asleep. No, you were asleep. You were just asleep. No, I know I was asleep. I'm saying somebody else locked the door. Oh, somebody may have uh. locked the door. But even stuff like that, like, <laughs> still left. But you know what? It I'm also, sorry. I mean, yes, we bring it up every every couple of years and, and we reminisce on it. And With it a little is bit of revisionist is. history. Well, <laughs> What Nobody happened? put you out. No, she didn't put me out. She didn't put me out. No. Nobody put me out. That didn't happen. Nobody puts a baby in a corner. <laughs> Nobody put, like they did in the yeah. cat skills when you were going <laughs> to your camp. No. Okay, the we're second type of tight savoring. Tight jeans wearing. <laughs> All of that. Dance the kid. The Cavricci. <laughs> listen. Came I, and, and, and was deflowering you <laughs> up in the cat skills. <laughs> Okay. She was having moments. So the second kind. <laughs> it's uh, the present, um, savoring the moment. We've actually heard that. That's a popular phrase. You know I mean? You got to savor the moment. And I think people say that really quickly and then they just run on through, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without really being like, no, you really got to savor the moment. Don't rush through the award ceremony. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, take a second and be like, hold on, I've graduated. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people, you know, this is graduation season. It's about to just get started. And and I've seen people post online and say, okay, this is my last one. Why? <laughs> right. Why? You were in that program. Right. I remember you going through like, I am mm -hmm. never finishing this. This is a, you're finished now. Mm -hmm. Doctor, what? Celebrate post every day for a year if you want to. 
I love that people ass. now are taking, um, they're doing whole photo shoots. Yes. And things. Absolutely. Go Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Do you know what a milestone that is mm-hmm. to complete any program anywhere doing anything? Mm-hmm. Why are we just, we just skip on past those things. One of my biggest regrets is that I did not walk the stage for my master's degree. Oh, I didn't either. I, I just. I was a PhD. <laughs> I mean, I, wouldn't, I don't know any of us I, just, I just didn't. <laughs> like, but, oh, we had a master's degree? But, oh. but, but I accomplished something. Yeah. And, you know, uh, you know, have a moment. That should have been. You yes. should have, you should have done that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a memory, you mm-hmm. know. It's something to reminisce on. Mm-hmm. All right, the third kind of savoring, the future or anticipation that's bringing that foil. That's us planning the just the most intense Cinco de Mayo itinerary. We already have five places. When I tell you, through. and I, because I mean, it's a we're gonna get these tacos. I love a holiday that celebrates a stand against colonialism. <laughs> and people are like, people don't even know what Cinco de Mayo is. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just for that Mexican army. It's be like, not, not just right about now. the tacos. I love, I love something like but that. But we enjoy the taco but part of it. Part and of the it. tequila. And it's, huh? just a, you know, it's just a day to do. Could we do it on a different day? Sure we can. But mm-hmm. it's kind of now our, our, our we remember it. And I mean, it for, for us, Cinco de Mayo itself has all of these things we just talked about. We used to go so hard on Cinco de Mayo, you're not even ready. Yeah, no. Like, I'm talking about massive parties uh-huh. with multiple DJs uh-uh. and like all kind of performances. <laughs> just, I mean, we would go all the way mm-hmm. live T- taco buffets mm-hmm. pinatas just mm-hmm. with just filled with stuff like life-size pinata have you ever had a life-size pinata <laughs> no 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 legit Big, well, actually bigger than you just yeah. a huge <laughs> legit filled with nips mm-hmm. and vienna sausages and ramen and condoms mm-hmm. i was i was gonna say other things you might need <laughs> but you went ahead and said what they were mm-hmm. you need condoms after all that Ramen and <laughs> tequila. <laughs> safety first yeah. and safety last. But yeah, I think we, you know, we we have a history of, of of savoring it, and so you know, we are in anticipation, right? The planning, the the thought of it, like we're going to gather together yep. with friends and have a good time, like we always do, and that that is also savoring mm-hmm. because you're anticipating something. Mm-hmm. So there's also three levels. Um, of savoring that we want to talk about too. Mm-hmm. We have the three types, kind of that past, present, and future. Yep. And now let's talk about the the levels of savoring. Savoring experiences, right? So, I mean, you were there, you felt it, you remember the people, you remember what was around you, you can remember the smells, mm-hmm. the sounds, but really there are layers to all of that. Remember all of it. And, and, you know, you know when you've savored it because when you remem- when you look back on it, you kind of just smile. You know what I mean? You kind of go into a little space, mm-hmm. you know, and I try to remember to do that. I like to travel a lot. Um, and last year I went to lots and lots of places, you know, but I, I'm, I remember going to Belize and just being like, I'm just going to be present, you know, in every moment that we were there, sneaking into Guatemala, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, I, and I remember thinking I'm at the time, you know, they're like, I am really having a good time. I am experiencing Belize. Mm-hmm. And now afterwards, when I look back at it, when people say, what did you think of Belize? I literally go into like a, mm-hmm. mm. I can't mm-hmm. even explain. I'm like, it's just, it's a vibe. You should go. Mm-hmm. But that's because I was savoring that mm-hmm. experience. You also have to savor processes. Now, this is where I think people are going to be like, oh, don't nobody want to savor the process. We want to mm-hmm. rush through the process. Trust the process. We want to spin through that. We want to speed through, fast forward, skip double time through the process so we can get to the next experience. Not realizing that savoring the process itself is where the joy lies. Because most of your life, you're in, you're in process, actually. But even, even if it's uh, savoring the process of something that was hard, mm-hmm. you will appreciate how you are maintaining that hard thing if you fully savored yep. the process, the process of, it. of it. You consider what all was put into it. Yeah, you got to... 
Listen, and don't be afraid to celebrate that thing. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really look back over it. If you finished, you know what I mean, some sort of, you know, fantastic degree, those late nights, and you just had you had a wing in one hand and you were just typing with the other one. It was 3 a.m. You started to get delirious. You know what I mean? That makes like, that degree worth it. You that's a really savor that moment. Like, wow, that's what I was doing. then. I was really putting in, you know, the midnight oil. And it really lets you know then when the next process comes along, don't fear it. Don't don't, you know, put it in such a negative space. This is the process that comes along. Let me mm-hmm. savor. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite things about Joy John Brock having his PhD is that I knew Brock when he was in school, mm-hmm. and he had like a one point GPA. <gasps> Did you just say that nigga? He will, listen. Brock will tell you. I know. Truth. That's that. That is how he will announce this mm-hmm. thing. That's why he appreciates this PhD. Mm-hmm. He is now he's a, a dean. He's a dean at the school that he got that and, one point oh. At <laughs> He's at Mohawk Scout, a dean, and probably the most beloved staff member of all time, because he <laughs> savored that yeah. process. He will tell you, I, I'm not going back to get no more PhDs because I did that one. Mm-hmm. But I, oh, I can. T- this was a journey. Mm-hmm. Oh, I appreciate mm-hmm. this thing. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. real. That is real, y'all. Um, and then the, the third level is savoring the responses. And this is why it's so important yeah, for right, you though. to appreciate at a level that someone wants to hold on to it. Mm-hmm. Remembering when you got the standing ovation. Mm-hmm. What? That's how you know you did something good. Yeah. Savor that thing. Yeah. Savor it. Um, I, in my office, I have, um, I think they took them, they might have taken them down, but that student might have put them back up. <laughs> they took them down to do something. We had blood or something. But I, um, was, I put up all these thank you notes that I have received over the years mm. um, from students. Um, and it's such a, it's just a moment to just, when I'm like, you know what, how about this? I'm going to quit. I'm quitting CAU. I don't, I don't, I'm just going to do something else. And then you just kind of walk past your wall of, <laughs> of student after student, you know, that has, that's just giving you, they savored me, you know what I mean? And they took the time to show that appreciation. And now I can savor their appreciation and it reminds me to savor my job. I'm savoring their response. You know what I mean? Oop. I am taking a minute. Gotta savor your earring. <laughs> I'm using the word savor to just, it's gonna be like Everything. smurf. Remember how I was like, absolutely smurfly? <laughs> Don't smurf me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's over there being smurfy. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna do savoring like that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you savor it? I'm about this, to savor. This season, y'all. Man, I'm about to savor and chill. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> what you doing, savoring? What's up? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I am going, that's my word for everything. I love it. Savor it all. Savor being in traffic. Baby, it would blow your mind the whole concert that I put on. Because I can't go nowhere. What, getting mad, trying to look up ahead. What's Literally, what are you going to do? Literally what? Literally That's what? my time to get caught up literally in my what? podcast. Yeah. All that stuff. Why not? Just turn on something awesome. Mm-hmm. And savor that moment. Yeah. You'd be so much happier doing that. So I um I actually didn't put anything in for the Joy Journal, oh, but the Joy Journal. um I did. Mm-hmm. We got a lovely mm-hmm. little note, which was I thought it was a cute idea. Um, not saying that we're gonna do this, but I just thought that this was a very cute idea. So someone was on our uh, this most recent episode that we released. And Kira, Kyra, I don't know how you say your name. Let me know how you say it. But um, she said, I'm low key writing to petition for a seasonal playlist (laughs) for the Joy Johns. Could you imagine like if we compiled all of the songs just from 
one of the seasons and we just we release those as playlists. That's actually not a bad That's idea. That's not a bad idea. So now people can be caught up like, well, what is one in a million? Then but, you can go ahead and know what Larry you can go ahead and know Larry. We Graham. might have to go back. You know what? Because that's our way of savoring our own that's episodes. How we savor them too. Yeah, we go back and we look at them too. So you know what? You might be I on to you something. Might be on to something. So I think I think that's something that um Thanks for listening. That 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 we're gonna consider. Someone told us y'all are one of my favorite parts of my week. <gasps> I think that is the loveliest comment. Isn't it? Not just that you would come and spend part yeah. of your week with us, but, but no, you, saying I, it's the you look it's a highlight. To it. Thank you. You know, uh, the, uh, the best part of our week is coming together and, yeah. and recording and mm-hmm. doing this for you. We mm-hmm. love to give this to mm-hmm. you all. So thank you Because, again, we're also here. giving it to ourselves, too. Yeah. So I think we've... Uh, yes, thank you so much um, for joining us. Remember, we are in savoring and appreciation. Look for an opportunity to savor and appreciate something. Yeah. Today. 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 And thank you all for joining us. And remember that if you like what you're seeing, we need you. This is super important, y'all. Rate, review. If you are watching this and you haven't actually subscribed or you're listening, you have not added us to your your playlist, we need you to do all of that. That's the only way that we know that you all are out there. Yes. And, um, we want you to participate. Yes. We want you to follow all of the socials. We want yes. you to engage. We love reaching out to you all just as much as you love reaching out to us. So, yeah. Please do. And on that note, we're going to savor our outro song. We love to hear your stories about joy and how the podcast and joy movement are meaningful to you. Please submit to the Joy Journal at info at thejoyrxwebsite.com. And please follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram at the Joy RX, and on Twitter and YouTube at the Real Joy RX. If you love what you hear and see on this podcast, love us and love joy, please rate, like, subscribe, follow, and share. And if you want to get some fancy Joy merch, letting everyone know you are part of the Joy RX movement, go to shopjoyrx.com. Thank Thank you for joining us. us.